What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googleicious for everything Google you could think of. The big news this week, leaked renders of the reported Samsung Galaxy S9 are out, thanks to OnLeaks. Now, the design is still just as sleek as the S8. In fact, it doesn't look too much different, but on the front side, it appears the top and bottom bezels have been slimmed down a bit. But on the rear side, we're seeing the biggest change with a single lens camera and a rear fingerprint sensor below the camera instead of on the side of it. Now, renders were also released for the rumored S9 Plus model. That's expected to bring a dual lens camera on the rear and the fingerprint sensor below it as well, while keeping the similar design. Now, OnLeaks was pretty much on the money with their early S8 renders last year. Again, this isn't an official confirmation from Samsung themselves, but we could likely see these designs for the next Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus phones. Now, according to Korean news outlet The Bell, the S9 is expected to be announced earlier this year at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in late February. The report also says it could be released on either February the 25th, a day before the show officially kicks off, or at their own keynote on the 27th. We're expecting a new Snapdragon 845 processor, and rumors are pointing to an improved iris scanner, but no new drastically redesigned fingerprint scanner for now. Now see, that fingerprint scanner might be saved for the Note 9 after Synaptics announced their in-display fingerprint sensor is already in mass production for a top 5 OEM in 2018. It's lovingly called the Clear ID FS9500 because that's easy to say, but if you're trying to figure out who it could be, their press release specifically calls out the demand for bezel-free OLED Infinity displays, which is the exact type of naming Samsung uses for the S8 and Note 8 line. So could we see this coming to Samsung in 2018 on the Note 9? We'll have to wait and see. All right, we told you how pretty much impossible it's going to be to get a hold of the OnePlus 5T Last Jedi Edition phone. By the way, wasn't the movie crazy when <laughs> And I can't believe they yeah, she ate that. Now, the movie was loved by critics, but audiences aren't so high on it. I liked it, but no movie is perfect, except for Air Bud. Yeah, that movie was actually perfect. Now, you still can't get the phone, but in the box, there are hints to construct a hologram prism with a special message. That's cool and all, but if you want all of the exclusive wallpapers, you can grab them from this link right here. Thanks to 9to5Google for getting all of them for us. All right, in a few software notes, the Google Assistant now lets you control if it gives you directions specifically for cars, public transit, or walking. You can go to the Assistant's Explore section, then Settings, Personal Info, go to Preferences, and Getting Around, and it's a subtle but useful tweak. Also, the latest version of the Gboard 6.8 app is rolling out with built-in handwriting support without the need to download a separate handwriting app. To add handwriting in the app, you'll need to head to the languages in your settings and add the handwriting variant to it, so pretty easy. Also, Google's Jacquard Jacket gets two new abilities. This is their smart jacket collaboration with Levi's, and you'll now have the ability to activate the light on the Jacquard tag. It's called Illuminate. And there's also a new Find My Phone feature that will ring your phone when you make the correct gesture. Of course, it will need to be connected to the jacket over Bluetooth. Now, the Android update is out now, and the iOS version is coming soon. And we need to pour one out for Project Tango. Google is shutting down Tango AR after a three-year run in favor of AR Core that doesn't require any specific hardware other than an Android phone that you're using today. Now, it makes total sense, and AR Core was a quick reaction to Apple making AR Kit public, and come on, it was the right thing to do. So we've even seen AR Core's first public product with the recent Star Wars AR stickers for the Pixel and Pixel 2 that look really good. So goodbye, Project Tango. You will live on forever. All right, that's going to do it for this week. We'll be gone on a long hiatus after CES in January, and we'll return after that. So if you need a friend during that time, you can email me at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next year for some more of that Googleicious.